I mean, we really like the rustic aesthetic of it, I think, yeah. but just to bring maybe a little bit more modern twist on it. Looking back on the Broderick project, I still kind of get a little anxiety thinking about it. You know, I have two bar owners that are very nervous about having me do this install. Looks like this is gonna take a little work to get it in there, no? Maybe about a week we could have all this oh, installed. Wow. A week for us to lose that kind of business, it would just be kind of would be devastating us. Okay. They revealed to me that they're um, control freaks and for them to kind of essentially shut their eyes and let me do this project um, was very challenging for them. So we're gonna be ready then, huh? We've been, yes. We've been promoting the heck out of this on all of our social media, so I think there's gonna be a ton of people here later. What, what's a lot of people? Probably about 50 to 75. It was very overwhelming. The project is very much in the community eye. What time are they, are they coming? Nine o'clock? What? Nine o'clock. So that's four hours yeah. we have. Uh. The party deadline for Broderick was uh, actually pretty strict in itself because we did run overtime with the install, but you could hear people out in that parking lot just hooting and hollering, and they were all excited about us opening those doors to let them in. Wow. Holy <laughs> That's insane. And the great feeling about it all is every person that was walking through that door was cheering with happiness. It looks so great. It looks awesome, dude. And that reinforced to me that it was just uh, an all-around good success. One more chapter, man. Yeah. Yeah.